That's what you are. You want to fucking destroy people's reputations by lying. I don't have to lie. I can fucking take you out with the truth. You're not going to keep fucking keep coming for me, Granny, and I'm not going to hit you back. Go ahead and hate bond all you want. Let me play this clip, Christian, because people need to see and hear what Granny's been up to because a lot of people don't understand it. Because no, I don't, the I don't watch her, so I, don't, I have so, no clue. Yep, we're going to watch this. Oh, here we go, guys. This is from um, Crama Vault, my girl, AJ. Here we go, guys. Let's listen real quick. I'm going to speed it up. Can you uh, solve something with me playing this? I can stop it if it's too much. No, no, no. No, I'm sorry. I thought it was muted, actually. I just okay. want to point out, she's 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 going to do a marathon for you. So, you know, she, she's... She okay. Play. Challenge accepted, bitch. We're, we're going to do that. Go huh? go run a marathon for... Well, she, let's do it. Be a woman. If you're going to do something, you better follow through with it. So let's go ahead and start that uh, fundraising marathon right now. John Salty, I'm really surprised that you would be this fucking spiteful and hateful. Really? Because let's really read what I offered. And this is all I said to her, guys. Oh, we're going to get down. I, you really want to get down to it, Salty? Want to show people how fucking ungrateful and evil you really are? I don't give a fuck what happens to you now. How do you like that? How do you fucking like that? I was feeling compassion. And I wanted the best for you and your family. And this is what you're going to do? Why? Because your friends didn't want you to associate with me. What? Over Claire Morgan? Really? We're doing this? That's fucking so petty. It's so fucking petty. Why? Because you guys didn't get your way and get me to agree with what you wanted me to agree to? Sorry, I have a brain and an opinion. I didn't agree with what you guys were saying. You guys had already started talking to what? Maureen Cook and fucking whiskey behind the scenes and not telling anybody? Yeah, that's the truth. Hold on. Let's really talk about Salty. Hold on. I'm going to pull it up right now. I mean, this is just so hateful of you, Salty. I just can't really believe that you would participate in this. I mean, watch. It gets worse. She calls me the C word. Uh, so that's real classy of you, Salty. Real fucking classy. So I wrote on February 3rd, Salty. It, I texted it. It's Dorothy. You and I go way back and you have been on my mind and in my prayers. I am writing to ask if I can share your link and try to help. Would you be okay if I tried to help from my channel too? Also, I would like to give a donation, but don't want to offend you. So I reached out to her privately. This is what I wrote to her. Um, this YouTube stuff isn't real life. You are important to me. That's what I wrote. She wrote, I appreciate that, Dorothy. Maddie and I are extremely grateful for the help. Even if it's just some positive eyes and prayers sent our way, we are both grateful for the support. That's what she replied. And then her friends must have gotten into her brain. And it turns into something like this. So me just reaching out because I felt bad of her situation. This is what it's turned into. Let's listen to some more. Come on, Salty. Really show us what a fucking piece of shit you are. Well, how nice would it have been to do a marathon? You can do a marathon of dick sucking. <laughs> See? <laughs> I could do a marathon of dick sucking. Nice. Huh? This is all of a, out of an offer of help. It's this is on a, this is on a, they did this on a live? Oh yeah, this is them on a live from the dusty side. This is Granny who found people from a situation that happened, what, almost eight months ago. She went and she's found anybody who I've spoken about in the past and she's coupled up with them. Even Kelly the Advocate, who's a fucking fraud. I'm going to show her Fruit Loop fucking history on my the Clapback Queen channel. Make sure you guys join it. The link is above the live chat because I'm going to get ratchet as fuck over there. Kelly, I'm going to give you your fucking debut on that channel. Wait, baby girl, it's coming. You want my attention? You've got it now. You're not going to like it when I fucking put out the truth about you. I have every video of your disgusting, outrageous rants you went on towards what? The Ruzek family? Towards... Martin, were you threatened that you hired two men to go find him? 
Or how about when you threaten to come to my house or you send your mummy to my house? Kelly, I'm going to show it all now. You, you can't rewrite history, bitch. I'm going to set the record straight for you. Don't worry. I'll tag your fucking pathetic channel. Let's keep going. Yeah, this is on a live. Yeah, this is what they're saying because I offered to help. When was this? Uh, just recently. It was the last oh, couple of okay. Okay. Recently. okay. Sorry. Instead of doing a hateful marathon. You know what I mean? Like, she could have really done that and oh, did something yeah. nice and productive. Yeah. For I've done a hateful marathon. No, Granny, you're just fucking pissed because I went that weekend after you and it worked. What did you do? You ran to Kelly. You put Broken Justice with Raven and Kelly and boom, you proved exactly what I wanted to. Right? You fucking set that up with Broken Justice. You knew exactly what was happening. That was Vivian as my melody. I've talked to her for hours and hours. I know her voice. That's Vivian. For somebody else, but instead she couldn't shut her fucking mouth. Yeah. With her drool exactly. coming exactly. out. So disgusting. Exactly. All right, I'm going to press play here and I'm muting myself. No, this is me talking. <laughs> this is me talking about the salty bitch because I got this information from her channel where she was crying and having a fucking breakdown over her situation. So I was just talking about how I know the salty bitch. Somebody asked me out of chat. So they're going to play my audio. I'm fine with it. She's a, a really nice Is girl. Is this me fucking talking hateful? Now listen. She's, a, she's been on my panel before. Um, so I think it's worth it. I'm waiting for her to respond. Because I need more details to the story and I need the link. I know where I can go and copy and paste it. But I need more details to the story. Because we all know what's going to happen. People are going to ask a little bit more. So whatever she's willing to share, she's usually pretty open. I was hoping she'd come up from the panel and talk to everybody. I guess I would just drop it only a couple of times and what in the description. Let's get out of that house. I mean, it's getting to the point the sheriff's going to come. And that's never a good thing. She shared all that. The, the sheriff was about to come. She was at crisis mode. She was about to get booted out on her ass with her daughter. So that's why I offered help. Because, you know, you got belongings and stuff. You don't lose your stuff. Um, so I don't know, even know if she could afford to get storage. It's, it's very complex when, you own a, when you're when being thrown out of your home. But, and, you know what? I haven't heard all this shit. Fucked up. And that's yeah, a very funny thing. Um, she has some serious health issues. You, you know, guys heard of that like It may happen. I mean, we're, we're hoping it's not we did. that we did. her daughter no, has a you. friend. And oh, what happened, Granny? Did somebody come in there and say something negative to you? Because you're such a bitch. Oh, get rid of that troll account. Oh, poor Granny can't take it. Oh, poor baby. We don't know what salty bitch might have to go chase stay to hotel or something. Yeah, she was um, saying that she might have to separate from her daughter. She had a place her daughter could go, but she didn't know where she was going. It was a whole fucking thing. So I'm talking like compassionate towards her and that I want to share her story and link to help her. And this is the fucking reaction. It's just so beautiful. Fuck you, Salty. I don't give a fuck what happens to you now. How's that? Uh, I'm going to be a fucking bitch just like you. Fuck you. You deserve it. How's that? Because of your stink fucking attitude. Why is it every time you have a little hiccup in your life, you come crying to YouTube for financial help? Huh? I remember the last time you did it too. And I'm not the only one that keeps saying it. You only come crying to YouTube when you need some fucking money. Blah, blah. You fucking knew this day was coming. You should have pulled up your big girl panties and fucking prepared like a grown woman. woman when dog. you when you when you say great big girl panties all the time, I think of those underwear that go all the way up to your bra line and cup your butt cheeks. Yeah, like bloomers? Yeah, she's probably wearing some fucking bitch bloomers. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Because watch, she's going to call me the C word. Fuck you, Salty. I'm sorry I ever felt bad for you and wanted to help you. I'm fucking sorry I showed you the, any compassion. So sorry. The C word so is sorry. real. People put themselves in positions they're in in their fucking lives. Let's just own that. Let's just own that. Why don't you have anybody in your life that you can go stay with, Salty? Is it because of your fucking ratchet attitude and your fucking filthy mouth? Huh? Why is it that you can't go lay down anywhere? Because I know if I was getting thrown out of my house, I have probably like a good five, ten houses I could go to. 
Why are we getting thrown out of the house anyway? Did anybody oh, say? Well, because she wanted to bury her fucking head in her vagina and not fucking deal with life issues. That's why. <laughs> I guess go. that's where the I guess that's where the big girl panties come in. Why, you know, I, I, my heart breaks for that. And you know what, Jessica, she would never put on a show advocating for somebody who is a survivor of domestic violence and is in a position. And the reason we know about her domestic violence is because the last time something happened on YouTube, she came crying to YouTube uh, talking about how she was scared because of her domestic violence situation. Uh, I, and then I'm thinking to myself, somebody who's really scared and they have a domestic violence situation, why the fuck are you ranting on YouTube for 14 hours at a time weekly? That doesn't make sense to me now that I'm thinking about it. Somebody who's truly scared and in hiding would not be fucking ranting on YouTube. <laughs> it, I'm against it. If I find out you've ever gone real life in somebody, you won't be around me. Because I don't rock with that all the time. Whether it happens to me or you.